Eleanor of Aquitaine leads France. And Eleanor of Aquitaine leads England in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. The Duchess of Aquitaine ruled as both Queen Consort of France and England and left a major impact on the culture and arts of her time. Both in her lifetime and over the next 600 years, a great rivalry existed between these two powers. Allegiances shifted quickly as local rulers pledged their loyalty to one nation or the other. As Eleanor of Aquitaine, expand your influence by attracting new recruits to your kingdom through the power of the arts. Eleanor of Aquitaine's unique ability is Court of Love. Whether playing as France or England, great works in her cities reduce loyalty in foreign cities within range. Also, any city that leaves an empire due to loyalty loss but receives the most pressure from Eleanor's empire will join her civilization outright. This is the first leader in the Civilization franchise that can be used with two different civilizations. This allows you to utilize her abilities in situations that play to the strengths of England or France. When you choose Eleanor to lead France, your bonus towards building mid-game wonders will be particularly useful as you collect great works and increase your loyalty pressure. When you choose Eleanor to lead England, converting cities from around the globe will add even more resources and power to your workshop of the world. Surely, the sun will never set on Eleanor's English empire. Eleanor of Aquitaine is a prime candidate for a culture victory. But picking up extra cities will help with any victory. Will you earn the loyalty of the world? How will you rule as Eleanor of Aquitaine in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm?